No one can get in, even the realtor did not get in, even the sellers. So it all comes together. Today, here we go. We're going to open the door for the first time and see what's inside. Daniel, are you in there? He's locked himself in. Next thing, we got to call the cops. Where's the police? Come the door! Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the camera can't get the smells. Holy mother of Christ. Aditya, good morning. <laughs> good Guess morning, what I got man. for you, my friend? The keys. Oh, <laughs> it feels like heaven, man. <laughs> we finally got it, eh? We finally got it. Cannot so, believe actually we got the keys. Yeah, we're about to enter this house after one long, hard, tedious week. Yep. What do you want to tell what happened during that week? Ah, oh, man, so it's, it's a process, right? Like, so first of all, he has no right to stay. But at the same time, we, we are human beings, so we want to be nice to him. So through our lawyer, we got our lawyer involved, got in contact with some of the person who is in contact with the person who is living in the house. So we sent him a letter saying, hey, we'll give you one week, get your stuff out. After one week, anything left over, we'll garbage, we'll dump it to them. So they sign it. So now here we are at the property. And of course, uh, so many things happened in between. So that's something Xavier can talk on. <laughs> yep, yep. It's funny because you see all these stories on, uh, you know, uh, TV and stuff like HGTV specifically. I think they got something called the Horda House, right? Um, and that's exactly what this is. This is a Horda horse, uh, House Horror, right? <laughs> but it's the psychology of the person. Guess what? The guy is an engineer in Ford. He's working in autonomous vehicles. That's his full-time job, guys. That's his full-time job. And when you see what he left us with, and you see this guy walking in the street, you think he's your daddy, because he's your father, right? Because he looks like a normal person. But behind that, we don't know what's going on. You know, we took the time last week, as Aditya said, you know, he, we are humans too. We said, let's give this guy a chance to get out here decently. Yeah. But this is what he left us with. Check it out. <laughs> Wow. Do you want to take this home? Look at a nice packed bottle. <laughs> yeah, some olive oil over there. <laughs> Amongst the you know, picture frame looks brand new. Pictures and freaking oh. files and oh my god, there's nothing but garbage. I think anything you want, you're gonna find it over here, guys. Yeah, the science answer book. You got wow. some pickled olives, look at that. Pickled oh, olives. This one. That must be really pickled. <laughs> By now. Look at this one. Pretty much a brand new set. Literally just soaked in, got into it. Shit. Pieces of couches. We got movies. Yeah. VHS tapes, guys. Remember those? Sexy oh ones too. Oh my god. <laughs> Speed on VHS. Hey, if you don't want to pay for uh, Netflix, come grab for free here. <laughs> we'll be here till Monday. Yep. <laughs> Not only left. Garbage here. He also gave a lot of things for neighbor. Neighbors put it for garage sale. Yep, smart neighbor. He's gonna make some money. You know, but it saves us a lot of time and effort because this is what we do, right? We are, we care about the house. That's what we care. We want the asset, not all this stuff. Even if we sell all the stuff and make five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars, what's that in the bigger scheme of things? Right? We come for the house. That's what we come for. So if anybody wants to come and take this shit, hey, kudos to them. Better for us. Makes us a lot, a lot easier. So we finally go inside. Are you excited? Well, let's oh take yeah. Let's the garage and then go inside. That, that's something. Okay, let's do it. There's more stuff. There's more stuff. So we gave the guy a week to get out. That was yesterday. It expired yesterday. And this is what he did. He took some of the garbage from the outside, from the inside, and put it outside. So I don't know how much he did clean up. I can imagine what he cleaned up. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so stacked with garbage that we can't even freaking open stuff up, eh? Yeah, let's take this. Holy smokes. You getting this? Whoa! <laughs> Holy 
<laughs> Literally, this reminds me back home there used to be some dump yards <laughs> around the streets, like corner of the streets, just like this. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Last time, if you remember, it looked organized. What? Now, this is what we left with. Guess what oh got here? A bowling ball. <laughs> Challenge to put your fingers in that. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not daring. I'll give you 100 bucks to do it. Oh my god. Holy smokes. It doesn't get better. It only gets worse. <laughs> now I'm scared to get in, Sal. Oh yeah. I think we need masks and uh, not because of COVID. <laughs> what the heck is that? Antina. He's talking to aliens or what? Yeah. <laughs> he must have a direct connection to God, man. <laughs> We're real estate investors. We've seen a lot, but this is a lot, man. This I can't deny it. <laughs> Next level. Honestly, I haven't seen anything like this in my last four years of career. Hey, guess what? We need a new roof. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> Do the honors. I'm not dating. <laughs> no? I'm not I'm a little scared after looking that back yet. Are you telling me you bought this house without even knowing what's inside Aditya? Not this <laughs> junk. Yes, I, I was expecting garbage, you know. But this is like behind behind my expectations. Beyond? <laughs> totally. <laughs> You're a brave guy, man. Let's go see inside. Okay. <laughs> Move. couldn't even open the door for me. Now we can actually open the door. Jeez. All right. Ah. The sweet smell and look of success right here, guys. <laughs> this is what real estate investing is about. <laughs> Imagine this place without all this junk. Come Monday when we clean up. Honestly, we did a big favor to this guy. Agreed. Because he's been living like this for the last 10 years and finally, just because we solved the you know their problem now he has to find a clean place he left all this junk also his baggage in that he's been carrying for years so i'm really thankful for that you know for ourselves you know it's a good point that you mentioned because when i was talking to him yesterday when i was grabbing the keys i could see in his eyes that he was actually relieved i was like how are you feeling you know how are you feeling yeah are you are you okay and he was like officially i gotta say that i'm unhappy but in fact inside i feel happy that's what he told me. That was his words. Wow. Right? So you're absolutely right. I think, you know, by us doing what we had to do and taking this off his hands, really, it's going to open up another chapter in his life. Yeah. You know, 40 years. 40 years he's been living in wow. here like this. So you can imagine the stuff that he's collected. So if his house is like this, like, imagine how much his backside subconsciously loaded with this, you know, baggage that he's carrying definitely it's garbage that he's carrying yeah, exactly. not just baggage it's yeah. just uh i'm thankful you know yeah i'm glad absolutely. we made this choice so yeah. that someone's life is better now absolutely okay so it's typical south windsor layout, layout? <laughs> yeah wow there's not enough free space in the ground to put our foot on the ground Waiting to see the washroom. Okay. Typical three bedroom, exact layout yeah. of a South Wheels of home. You can blindfold anyone of us in here and we'd still be able to find our way, not through all this garbage, mind you. <laughs> but once the garbage is gone, clearly you can see all the roof is gone. It's leaking. Peakers everywhere, tapes everywhere. So here's the thing when you're buying something that sight unseen, Especially when you knew that there is someone living here for years. This is what, uh, we're not like too surprised. Yes, it's so much, but that's exactly what makes us investors, right? Like, so we're helping someone else to take their problem. But if we can solve this problem, it's going to be another beautiful home living here. Once this whole thing is cleaned up, done nicely, it's going to be an opportunity for other families. So definitely proud to take on this project so just stay tuned to see the 
conversion of this. And we gotta add one more thing because we talked about helping the guy out and taking out his baggage from his life. But guess what? The seller was not even the guy who was squatting in the house. It was the estate that he belongs to, right? And the estate didn't want to handle their own sibling. They were tired of him. They've been trying to tell him that they want to sell this house for the last 10 years, but he called their bluff and they never did it, right? So the estate was super happy and is super happy that we've taken over this project as well. So in fact, we've helped two people out, right? Because they didn't want to handle their own brother and their own problem. So they, that's why they wanted to sell it. And then we helped him out as well because he's just alleviating this baggage from his life. So that's a two in one victory. Talk about the family that's going to actually come in here in the end, right? Once it's all fixed up and looking like a proper family home. So that's a three in one. And of course, as investors, we're the fourth. So we got a four run home run in this project <laughs> right here. I'm curious to see the basement, man. Yep. Cool. The moment of truth. Okay. <laughs> You guys ready to see the basement? You just I'll saw the way, yeah. yeah, you just saw the main floor so far. Come, I'll show you the basement. Whoa! It's ceiling height? Perfect! It's a perfect South Windsor ceiling height. See, I'm even looking for the diamonds in this garbage. Which is my height, the basement height. Ceiling height in the basement! Another victory! Yes! <laughs> A fresh bath after this. Okay, here, here. This is what I was looking for. Water meter. Thank God. Copper. Got an octopus furnace right there. <clears throat> we got a water tank that's actually working. Furnace is running. So we came out good. <laughs> and we got the ceiling height for an ADU conversion. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's a, it's a good size basement and perfect for ADU. I think I need to get out. I need to get out. <laughs> Sam, I got what we want. Yep. Is it a classic Coke? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm estimating five bins and a week's worth of work, guy, just to take out all this crap from here. My stomach, I cannot take. So as part of the deal that we made with the guy yesterday, as you know, five o'clock Friday was his deadline to get out of the house. I came here and took the keys with, from him yeah. and he was, up, he was completely pleading with me that he wants to come back because he has 1% left of stuff to move. So He's taken out 99% and he has 1% left to move. So that's 1%. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what I can assume. So right? what's the 99% could look like then? <laughs> I'm like yeah. now. Logically, <laughs> if you got some idea, got some imaginations, please let us know in the comments. So I actually committed to him that I'll be back at two o'clock today and give him two hours. I'm going to open the door for him for two hours and he's going to take out one that one person out. You know? <laughs> but going back to the character and the mindset, right? I mean, this is a mental health issue. You know, there's nothing to make fun about. It's really a mental health issue. And as people as human beings we got to do everything we can to do as well to help yeah. people like this right so you know we don't want to be the bad guys we don't want to be assholes and say no you can't come in your own you know the house anymore stuff like that so if the guy wants to come in for two hours let him come in for two hours right and that's yeah, all yeah, you know, need to help each other so. yeah that's the thing we, we, we gave him one week which is like you know our lawyers had uh, no just don't even give him time because he has no right to stay here but yeah. we just want to make sure you know he, he's not left out um, we gotta stay blessed up because it'll all come back to us as well. Yeah, right? exactly. So, yeah. Was he actually living here? Yeah, that's like place. he was coming home every night. Almost every night, but I, his bedroom he had a little tiny area. So he, he could he could barely get in the door. I couldn't. Get, I mean, that, I'm, yeah, not the big, yeah, yeah. I'm not the smallest guy, no, but I couldn't get in that. Uh, no, no. When I opened it the first time, no. so. Wow, so he's sleeping there. He some some nights he was sleeping there, some nights he wasn't. But he'd come like late at nighttime and he'd sneak in the door like this. I I, I, I don't know how, how we got through. I mean, they, where were where was the, the bathroom was up to the walls with stuff. Like where was he going to the bathroom? I don't know. In there somewhere. Who knows? I don't know. Well, probably yes. Did you guys make it to the basement? We did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh. You took pictures? Uh, yeah. took, uh, we got all that uh, stuff. You could make a lot of money off of that. <laughs> <laughs> just from the pictures. Just, just from video. the pictures. Yeah. Yes. There, 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 there's much of it now. 
20, 25 different people coming through here last couple days. Just, 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 just pulling up in their trucks and just loading shit in there. Come Monday, this will look a little bit different. Are they, are, are they going to, are you going to blow it down? What are you going to do? No, no, you can't. The bones are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bones yeah. are great of the yeah. house. Yeah, just get a bunch of bins and start throwing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So suppose we'll, we'll get the stuff out. We'll see what's going to happen. Nah, no. Anything's better Before. than what's here. So you guys, you guys are yeah. you're like a blessing to the neighborhood. Guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. For sure, you know, for that, sure. That's, a, that's very encouraging to nah, hear that. For sure, for sure. We got some good advice from the neighbor. We got some good numbers. Yeah. <laughs> he knows his numbers. So let's see if that comes true to fruition. But that's another thing. If you look at his house, it's identical, the same kind of building, right? Make those relationships with the next doors because who knows, one day they want to sell too. Yeah. And who are they going to call once they see all the stuff that we've done over here, right? So yeah, once now, it's because this is like we discussed inside, it's not a relief for the whole sellers and you know, everyone, but also the neighbors because the right. other neighbor was talking, you know, hey yeah. man, I've been seeing this garbage everywhere for years now, like years. Thankfully, all the other houses got like nice landscaping, you know, beautiful families. In South Windsor, man, yeah. you know, one of the best neighborhoods in Windsor. So you're absolutely right because the amount of action that has been around this house since the two, three times that we've been here, it's amazing. The yeah. neighbors are coming out and they're like literally thanking us for taking this piece of crap over because now it's going to alleviate their community as well. Yeah. So that's number five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you got to look at the how many people's life has changed in a positive impact right pretty much uh, that's something i'm proud of so and don't get it twisted this house sat on the market for a long 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 time i think it was almost six yeah. months nobody wanted to touch it nobody wanted to touch it yeah because you cannot you don't know what you're getting into yeah you, you, you don't know what's inside just like you know even before that gate was closed you cannot even see what's inside and they're all like in the tents right now they're all outside so you can see all the garbage, but but this is this is real estate investing. Right? We always talk about risk and reward, you know. And a lot of investors come there with the with the, with the mindset of I gotta be ultra conservative, I gotta take the lowest risk and get the highest reward. It doesn't work that way, guys. Sometimes you just gotta jump in the deep end without knowing how to swim, because the reward when you finally come up to the surface is so big, it's so huge that it's going to give you the motivation to go to the next one and the next one and the next one, right? And this is typically that property. Granted, we are now experienced investors, so we, you know, we our appetite for risk is much more than I guess it was when we first started off, but it's gems like this that make all that theory come to fruition, all right? So we are so excited to see what happened next week. You know, the next week we're gonna take more videos of us cleaning up this place and bringing the light back into this dark, dark house. And then we'll see what happens after that. All right. Yeah. Until the yeah. next episode. <laughs> Until the next episode. See you later. He said he left one person. So how much that one person turned into? <laughs> 12 bins, guys. We took out 12 bins.